The Nintendo 64 had a plethora of accessories and peripherals in its lifetime. Some were absolutely necessary in order to play certain games, some gave you new ways to play these games, and some even worsened the experience. But just what are these accessories and what were they used for? Welcome to Got Item, the show where I look back at some of Nintendo's most prolific accessories and add-ons for the Nintendo 64. Starting off the first episode of God Item, I wanted to look at something you weren't able to buy from any store. In fact, the only way you could use this was by staying at a hotel. This is the LogNet Nintendo 64 controller. As you can see, this controller has some pretty big differences from a regular N64 controller. First of all, this controller has extra buttons above the start button. These were used to navigate an in-room service on your television. You can change channels, order movies, play music, and of course, play Nintendo 64 games. This service came with a large library of Nintendo 64 games, which included... Mario Tennis, Excite Bike 64, Mario Kart 64, Paper Mario, Super Smash Brothers, Hydro Thunder, Big Lake Greatest Arcade Hits, Rush 2, Extreme Racing, USA, 1080 Snowboarding, Mario Golf, Mango Museum, Dr. Mario 64, Super Mario 64, Red the Rumble Boxing, Mario Party 3, Kirby 64, Crystal Sharks, Star Wars, Rock Squadron, Mortal Kombat, Wave Race 64, Pokemon Snap, Virtual Pool 64, Yoshi Story, Donkey Kong 64, Star Fox 64, The New Tetris, Rampage 2, Universal Tour, F-Zero X, Pilot Queen 64, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Gauntlet Legends, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, and Virtual Chess. <sighs> but, of course, with this being a hotel service, there's a catch. If you wanted to play these games, you'd have to pay $6.95 an hour to play. That's right, an hour. Hey kids, want to complete Paper Mario in its entirety from your hotel room? All right, have fun telling mom and dad why there's an extra $160 charge to the room. If you decided to steal the controller from the room, not only would you get an additional charge from the hotel, but you'd come home to find out it doesn't work with your N64. This controller plugs in with a modem connection. The only way to use the controller without modding it is by getting your hands on a special converter box, which was made by LodgeNet. If you traveled a lot back in the day, chances are you saw these in your hotel room. And if you were smart, you didn't use it. Instead, you just smuggled in your own TV and N64. But good luck smuggling those old tube TVs anywhere. 